Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Best Mac Apps. Today I will be showing you 6 more Best Mac Apps by the end of December 2017. So without further delay, let's get started. The first app on the list is called AV Recorder and Screen Capture here. If you are looking for a more affordable app for Mac screen recording, this app is one of the best for you. It is simply designed and is much cheaper than ScreenFlow and Camtasia because it costs only $9.99. If you go to App Store, if you take a look at the ScreenFlow 7 price, it's $130, which is very expensive. If you take a look at Camtasia 3, it's $200, even more expensive. If you take a look at the price of AV Recorder app here, it's only $9.99. And they even have the free version for you to test it first. I have tested this app so far and with no more recording, this app can do the job just fine. But in my opinion, the video quality after recording is not as sharp as the recording from ScreenFlow. So what this app can do includes recording the full screen here, the first option. For the audio, you can record both the built-in microphone and the system audio. If you don't want to record system audio, just untick this. So microphone here, it means the sound going in. And the sound coming out, you can also record it by ticking here. And the screen resolution, you can record up to 2560 that's the highest you can record at 1080p is up to you and the output format you can choose mp3 or mov or m4v but by default it select mp4 for you and also another cool feature about this app is it lets you auto stop the recording at a specific time you can set the time to 10 minutes or to 30 minutes or one hour after it reached that time, it will stop recording by itself. It's really cool. And also you can have a chance to set the logo onto your video while recording by clicking here. As you can see, this is the screen and they have four corners. You can decide where to put your logo on. Like you have a YouTube channel logo. You want that logo to be stick on the video. You can select where you want to stick that logo on. And then you add a photo in. It will be there. And also you can see here, they have camera. Camera here is the screenshot. You just click here, it will screenshot the whole screen for you. Let me show you an example here. It's here. It's just screenshot the whole screen for you. So the full screen recording is just like normal recording. And the next one is area recording. Every recording, it means you select where you want to record because sometimes you don't want to record the full screen, just only some part of the screen you want to record. So you select area recording. And also with area recording, they also have the feature to screenshot and you screenshot only the selected part, the part that you want to take a screenshot. You click here, see here. So which part you want to take the screenshot? Just drag it and you can select the part you want to take the screenshot. I say I want to take this and it say double click to start record so double click done let's take a look at it you see it's just like the built-in screenshot but it's just an additional feature to this app so it's kind of cool and the other one is called single window single window here it records only what you're doing it doesn't record the status bar or the dock it only records the window let's say I have Safari here so whatever I'm doing on Safari only the Safari page the top it won't record and the dock here it won't record that is single window recording and the last one is record audio so you just select mp3 here and click record so this is app number one let's move on to app number two app number two is called popcorn time here just click allow if you like watching movies TV series and anime this app is the right app for you because what this app does is it allows you to stream movies TV series and anime directly within the app for free this app store tons of different collections of movies TV series and anime which are very up-to-date most importantly, it is completely free. With this app, you don't have to pay anything. In fact, 
This is the whole new way to watch TV series and movies for free. It provides the most updated movies and TV series that are currently being popular. Like these movies here, you can see these are 2017. These movies have just been released at the cinemas and now they are available here. And another great thing about this app is it only shows the HD quality movies. If the movie is still in cam, which means it is like some people recorded using the camera and, and they post it to share other people online, they won't show it here only with HD quality and if you want to watch a movie just click on it and then you can have a chance to select 3d or 720p or 1080p and down here it's the the seats and usually you can select from different seats the more seats you see the faster you can watch that movie and usually it would select the best seats for you but if this one stuck you can change to another one and try it again and you can also have a chance to watch the trailer by clicking here and it also provides some movie provides subtitles you just click here and it will show you the subtitle while you're watching to start watching just click watch here and they ask you you're being monitored they just ask you to use VPN to watch using VPN just protect you from being monitored and like to make your IP address private but you have to pay for this service and to me I don't really mind that risk so I will click continue and we start streaming the streaming it depends on your internet connection the faster internet speed you have the quicker you can watch and you can see this is downloading which means by the time you finish streaming one movie this movie will have been downloaded for you already this is another cool thing about this app it's just streaming it for you and downloading it for you if in case you want to watch offline later it will store that movie offline for you in your computer so let me show you the movie that I have streamed already and it's stored in my computer. You go to Finder, Downloads, and at the top you will see Popcorn Time. Click on it. These are movies that I have watched. See here? So after I watch it, it will also download it for me. The TV series, they have a lot of TV series, like I said, it's very up to date. It has like The Game of Thrones, The Flash. All of these are being very popular and again you can watch them for free. Like I said if you have very fast internet connection, you can watch it quickly, it stream quickly, you can watch it enjoyably. I mean you can try this by yourself. To download this popcorn app for your Mac, you have to go to Safari and you type in popcorn time for Mac. And it's the top here. So here, you can download it and install it. And then you can start watching. So this is app number two. Let's move on to app number three. App number three is called EverWeb here. What this app does is it allows you to create a professional website without you having to have computer programming skills. In fact, with this app, you only need to drag and drop because everything is made ready for you to use. So you can see here, this is the startup page of EverWeb. If you already create a website, it will have a recent project saved here. You have a chance to duplicate it or delete it or make a backup of it. Let me just delete it. So to create a new website, you just click here and they have a variety of website templates for you these are very beautiful and these templates are really cool when you see the arrow down like this it means it need downloading because most of these are stored on the internet when you want to use it just click download it it's not big it's small so it will download quickly they have like i said different templates for you to choose from just pick the one you like the most they have different styles like jewelry and so on and these templates are really beautiful in my opinion let's say i choose this i select it this is the website you can change this anything on here you can change even the picture here you just delete this and you can add your own picture to it the text that you see you can also change by double click on it change your text to anything you want and everything here you can change even the picture here you can change and they have a lot of features here change the picture here you select this and that's the picture you choose the other one that you want, let's say I choose this, we change to that. Or you click choose here to choose from your computer. You see the design everything for you, you just double click and you can change the text easily. You can change the style of the text. You can also add widgets to it, like you want to add a video somewhere. Like let's say I want to add a YouTube video here. So I just grab this widget and drag and drop here and just make it smaller. So just put it here and here this side is the YouTube URL. You just copy the link of this video and paste it here. You can add like contact form here. 
you want them to contact you if they have any questions they can contact you with this app you can design very beautiful websites without having to know any codes everything is just there for you you change the font you can change anything and after you you done all the thing you, you do here you can preview it first or publish it so you have a choice for you to preview on google chrome firefox or safari a try with safari here see and another cool thing about this app is that it automatically creates the mobile version of your website to fit and look great on smartphones and tablets you can see down here it says mobile setting just tick here and after you have created a website you can publish it online using ever web hosting server or you can publish your website to the web hosting provider of your choice before you publish you have to make sure that you go to preferences and here so this one you add the account if you purchase the ever web hosting server you can sign in it here and when you click publish it will publish to the internet for you but if you don't have it you just click create account here and it will show you the web hosting plan that you can choose from so if you want to buy this app it costs in the US dollar it's $80 but if you want to plus the hosting 2 gigabyte of hosting it costs a hundred dollar annually and the price goes up based on the hosting storage size choose the one that you like and you can host it using this but if you think this price is too high you can choose your own web hosting provider and then you can sign it in here as well and then you can host it i mean with this app you can create lots of beautiful and awesome websites without knowing computer programming okay this is app number three let's move on to app number four for app number four it is called adware doctor here what this app does is it helps you to locate the adware and manually remove it from your mac system the adware is like a malware advertisement app that has been installed to your mac automatically without your permission when you visit a website and unfortunately click on a fake link and every time you try to open a website like safari and you click something it would redirect you to some annoying pop-up advertisements that shows that you have adware in your computer and with this adware doctor it will help you to remove those adwares for you like i said earlier this app will help you to locate the adware installation file hidden in your mac system and allow you to manually remove it from your mac completely adware doctor also removes all extensions cookies and catches for you automatically from your web browsers like safari chrome and firefox to avoid any hidden adware equipped with the extension sometimes some apps ask you to install an extension but that extension also include the adware in it and when every time you open a website or surf safari and so something it just have some pop-up advertisement somewhere on your safari app which is really annoying that somehow can be part of the extension so with this adware app it will remove that for you and also after it removes it will restore your web browser to the default factory state however it won't remove your bookmarks and history let me show you example let's start with safari here this is not a default state of my safari because every time I open a window, I want it to open with a home page, and my home page is Google homepage. The default one, it would select the favorite, and I will show you in a second. When I use Adware Doctor to remove the Adware from my web browser, it will set this to the default state, which is the favorite. And let's say I want to add some extensions to my Safari. So let's say I want to install this extension. Click install now. Done here. So extension is here, you go to Safari, Preferences, Extension, I have one installed here. Let's see what happens if I run this Adware Doctor app. So to clean, I click here, turn it on. You can turn all of these on at the same time, it's up to you. But let's say I want to clean my Safari browser. You can see here to say Adware Doctor will remove extensions, cookies and catches to restore your browser. Bookmarks and history will not be affected. So click clean here, it's updating. And it say ready to clean now, I click OK it's cleaning just click yes and now let's go to safari again you can see it won't select the home screen for me but it set it to the default state it select the favorites not the home page so i have to reset it if you take a look at here i have installed an extension but now it's removed it's gone if you go to preferences extension it's gone 
you see so it will remove all the extensions for you and if in case it finds the adware it will ask you to remove it manually last time i scanned it and i found an adware hidden in my computer and this app asked me to delete it manually and asked me to restart the computer after i rebooted my computer everything came back to normal so you don't have to worry anymore about annoying ads problem you can find this app in the app store okay this is app number four let's move on to app number five app number five is called passport photo here as its name suggests what this app does is it allows you to edit your photo to fit with the right country's passport photo format so that you can print or save it in seconds to use for job applications and so on. The great thing about this app is that it comes with passport photo templates for at least 100 countries that you can choose from. You can see this side. These are the countries formats you can choose from. So just select the country that you want to make a passport photo of. Let's say I want to choose the United States. Click here. And to add a photo in, you just click here. Find your photo. Okay, I have mine here. So like that you can zoom in or out to fit that format and you can see here this is what they want you to do make sure that the photo that you take you have to look straight at the camera your nose and your mouth have to be in the middle of the photo like that just check it when it's done it's like this and then you can click print or save here by clicking here so you have the option to save or to print so save one of save four print one or print four you can also print three print two as well or print one you have the option here i mean with this app it just do everything for you you just add your photo in and then you can save it and the line here the border line so if you see here they have border line of each photo you can change the color of that as well to like green red it's up to you but usually the fall is black what everyone use and you can have the option to add the border or without the border with this app it's just simple and easy to use you add a photo in and then everything is done for you okay that's it this is app number five let's move on to app number six app number six is called translatium this app as you can see the app interface what this app does is it allows you to translate from one language to another very quickly from the status bar if i close this and it stays right here you can translate to any language from english from anything in fact this app make use of google database and if you ask me this app look like google translate of course it's the google translate it's a better version of google translate why say it's a better version because google translate if you go to the website let's say i type in google translate here so why it's better than google translate if i type cook of course it will translate it for you to the language and it will read for you as well cook Japan. but the thing is you can only type you cannot speak to it with this they have the option to speak to it they have the option to listen but also you can speak to it to translate let's say if i speak to it what's the weather like today and you can see here it's right there it just listen to your voice you can speak to it without having to type you see it's a better version it also provides dictionary if i type the word cook it translate here it's the same but then it also give me the definition in english and it's a verb as well you see it provide me the dictionary but this one doesn't provide me with dictionary and also it provides me with the synonyms the synonym as a noun synonym as a verb and also provide me with a lot of examples of that word which means this app is all in one it's not just translate but also provide me with a very good dictionary within the app and what really special about this app is this app is a hundred percent free you don't have to pay for it you can download it directly from the app store if you go to app store and what's funny is when you try to search for google translate app in the app store you pay for it at least three or four dollars for it but if i search for translate him here it's right here it's a hundred percent free you don't have to pay for anything. See, this is really cool app, really useful app that you should have. It does not just translate when you type or when you speak to it. It also can translate from script. If you have like image that has a lot of like, let's say you have a picture of Chinese language on it. You don't know what to do with it. You can use this app to translate it as well. If you find anything on that picture and translate it. Let's say I have this photo. Click open and if you search for any words on that photo and it will translate it for me. You see it translate. And another cool thing is you can also write using handwriting. It also recognizes handwriting as well by clicking right here. You can write 
here on it as well. See, it recognized my handwriting. It's a word. You see, how cool is that? Okay, that's it, guys. These are six best Mac apps by the end of December 2017. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe for more useful videos in the future. Have a great day, guys. See you in the next video.